protocol indigo Dick, i am relieved you have given up on carrying everything yourself
while I am programmed for combat. I will keep your items safe, Captain. I believe the enemy is nearby. The enemy is here.
Paramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist, wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard. I can hear the terror 
more roaring somewhere. And more people screaming.
We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system. Allow me to assist you with carrying your items. Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long.
colony security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey, 
What can I need some work done? Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find something you like. I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. You should inspect your ship for heat. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat Train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Let citizens get special discounts? What the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. I kinda smell. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh. Kila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Little unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details. I'm really rather busy. Not now. Hello. Sergeant Huey. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? <sighs> the galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet. Everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? 
well, still I hold out hope. There are more good people than bad in this galaxy. It's just that the bad are... Huh, louder. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere, or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it, so long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet-side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Another time, then. Yeah. She can't do this to me. What? No, just ugh, go away. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District.
Jesus delivered what was by all accounts a passionate and moving sermon on greed and responsibility. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katri? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? 
See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. We've always considered ourselves explorers. This really is a journey.